Hey, it's me, Ustra again. Back with more finger pointing, spiky hair lawyer stuff. We're starting the third game of the trilogy, and uh, I can't wait to see episode one Turnabout Memories. Let's go! Let's go! Aha! I will not read the cutscenes. <laughs> okay. Girl rivalry? There's something about this girl you need to know. Don't talk about Uh oh. Uh oh, the pea lover. The pea lover killed the man. Wasn't me, I didn't. I didn't do it. But. Five years earlier. Mia Fey. Second trial. Okay, interesting. So this is the story so far. So I guess we uh, are in the defendant's chair now, huh? Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is cool. April 11. District Court Lobby number 9. Uh, number, number 3. What an ugly hoodie. Yo! I'm sorry, it's only... It's yellow, okay? It's only <laughs> yellow. Melons? No, these are not melons. I'm not fat! Guys, come on! This is a normal yellow hoodie, okay? And I, I, this, this, these are not melons. This is my chest, dude. Come on, like, we, we are five seconds in this game. I want to see your melons too now and make fun of this. Haha! <laughs> I can't tell. I can't tell anymore if this is game or reality. Whew! It's finally time. I'm kind of nervous. Ahem. Oh, Grossberg. Oh, Mr. Grossberg. Good morning. Ah, Mia. Please calm yourself down. You're going to get yourself arrested for suspicious behavior. No, you know. What are you talking about? I'm relaxed, Mr. Grossberg. Look at me. I'm relaxed. Let go of my lamp. La lapels? Lapels. Huh. You obviously haven't got the tem uh, temperament to be a lawyer. I, er, uh, so... I'm so sorry. It's just that I'm so nervous today. Yours is beautiful, of course. Yeah, very pl plain. Thank you. I saw your outfit too in Discord today. Your outfit is... Your outfit looks lovely. You have like a... Christmas, you have a lovely Christmas outfit today, like Christmas socks, and you know, cozy, cozy, cool fashion. I like that. I have like this pulley on. Nothing more. Only this pull, pull only this, only this hoodie. Nothing else. All I wear today. Good. Oh, that's right. If you're first, this is your first time in the big leagues, isn't it? Well, never you fear, my dear. I, Marvin Grossberg, I am at your service. Oh, actually, this is my second time in court. Still, you surprised me. What with your earnest request last night? Let me handle this case. You suddenly said. And quite forceful, too. I just found out yesterday about the case, I mean. What? You've already learned all the relevant facts? Well, about that, you see, I mean, of course I have, I, I think. Oh dear. In any case, don't let your client see you're, you're so nervous. You see, the poor young man in the pink sweater over there, that's your client. I'm wearing a mask too. 
Good morning there, everybody. Yeah, this is super Japanese, right? Like wearing a mask if you're like coughing and sneezing. They do this every time they get like a sneezy. Good morning. Try to keep smiling, Mia. I, I just want to say, I, I give it all I've got. Yep. We'll be fine. No problems. Oh, what's wrong? Do you have a cold or something, Mr. Vry? Actually, it's Bright. Like the flying, uh, the flying brothers people. The, f the f like the flying brothers people screw it up all the time. And yes, I have a cold. That's why this mask is for. My doctor says this way I won't give it to anyone else. Be kind to others, he said. He says, right, Mr. Wright. You have nothing to fear in court today. If you are truly innocent, I promise I will save you. Hmm. Please let go of my shirt. That's right. He's the one on trial, not not you. He's the one who should be nervous. You need to stay strong for your client, Mia. My name is Mia Fay. I'm still pretty new at this lawyer thing. The first time I I uh appeared in court was a year ago. Okay. Gosh. But that trial traumatized me so badly, I thought I'd never set foot in another courtroom. Oh, okay. It's been one year since then, and well, here I here I am again. But this time, this time I'm gonna I'm going to win. <laughs> you show me a, uh, yeah yeah like we should like we should not like think about it stitching these parts together this is like weird <laughs> we are we only we only know so much about each other yeah like i don't know maybe when i play skyward sword in january i will like play skyward sword the whole time standing because of the wii motion and all that sh all that all that schmick so maybe i will like show more of body uh, when I like play that because you know, I will like st I have to step back to like Flick and swish the fuck of us out, out of my uh, Wii mode. So uh... <laughs> The suit suits him really him better way better than the hoodie. Yeah, the hoodie is like weird The hoodie is weird. Yeah, so I you know, but you know You don't know you don't need to know my lower body I guess, like, it's there, trust me. It's, it's, it's there. I guess. April 11, 10 a.m. Courtroom number two. We were in front of courtroom number three just a second ago. What? Court is now in session for the trial of Phoenix Wright. Guy. The defense is ready on oh my god melons is back in court and she looks awesome she sh she looks way younger like this is only five i mean yeah oh my god and pain has has it like elvis yes yes the prosecution is ready on her the defense today is miss miss mia fey was it it's good to hear. It's good to hear that I have like a lower part. Why, why is this good to hear? Please explain in uh, three or more words. Hey, David. Nice to see you around. Hope you're doing good. Hope you hope you enjoy your coffee and your new red names in, in the quest for your Discord. It, it, it's exciting. It's exciting. It, it, it's exciting to see new people try new stuff. Yes, Your Honor. They're a problem. I was under the impression that Marvin Grossberg was uh, was to be leading the defense. Yes, well, you see, Mr. Grossbeck had a bit of an emergency. Emergency? But isn't that him standing there next to you? You know, this is the emergency. Yes, well, you, you're you just a rookie. Are you sure you can really handle this? Don't let him scare you, Mia. Give him your, your toughest look. Okay. Oh yeah, I, yes, I, 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 I want more like desk slapping as Mia. I yes, I need that in my life right now. Sexy Christmas, of course, Your Honor. I think. Hmm. Well, Mr. Payne, your opening statement, please, Judge. 
Oh no, he. Oh no, he. Oh, he's like playing with his like hair now. Ugh. 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 Well, well, well. I can't believe a veteran like me has to spend this time babysitting a new defense lawyer. Don't worry, little girl. It will be all over soon. What was that all about? Was he trying to trash talk me? Now then, I'd like to proceed with, my, with the summary of events on the day in question. The incident occurred on the campus of Ivy uh, uh, University. The murder victim was a student named Dog Swallow. <laughs> he dead now. <laughs> oh, his name his name would have caused him trouble anyway, so I guess good that he's gone. You need two years of experience to go to court in courtroom. Yes. Yes. This is true. He was a fourth year student studying uh, pharmacology. Hmm, it sounds like he was a very bright young man. I mean, you know. Ha! <laughs> uh. Yeah, well, uh, next. We have a photo taken at, at the crime, at the theme of the crime. Let's see. Students discovered the scene shortly after the murder. They found the victim's body. Okay, so there was like a electric cable going on and the umbrella. So I guess he was zapped. And the defendant had obviously uh, bungled bungled his getaway they then called the police hmm that certainly makes the defendant look very suspicious indeed very well the court accepted this photo into the record of evidence huh by the way i can't quite tell the cause of death from this photo the reputation for saga city is well earned Honor. The truth is that this vict victim died a rather, rather unusual death. An unusual death. Do you mean, Mr. Payne? Well, perhaps the defense would like to take this question. Huh? Fatal electric shock. Okay. A simple question. I thought it, I, I might loosen you up a bit. I am a gent. A gent eel man, if you will. He's an eel man? Why is he an eel man? This is why I don't show my lower body, like. I'm an eel man, too. Huh? <laughs> uh, what? The nut to him, Mia. Yeah. So, what you're made of. Ah, perfect opportunity. Well, what was it? The cause? Go on. Please say you know at least this much. I'm so sorry, I didn't get a chance to read through the whole file. Uh. Hemorrhoids are beginning to... Uh, he 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 hemorrhoids are beginning to act up, this is not good. Now see here, the details of the case are filed on the sc Ah, this is tutorial dungeon, oh no. But you know that already, didn't you? Ah, the core record, yeah, of course, yes, 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 yes! You shush now! I've got to stay calm. I can't let the prosecutor get the better the better of me. The court record. Okay, let's take a look. I just press tap here. Now then, would the attorney um, for the defense please answer the question? What was the cause of death? Electrodition! According to the court record, it was a fatal electric shock. In other words, electrocution. Electrocution is, is such a cute word. Electrocution, huh? But how could such a thing happen? Did the murderer use some sort of type of new super powerful stun gun perhaps? The answer to that will become crystal clear as his trial proceeds. As this trial proceeds. But before that, there is one more vital issue. What's that? Why, motive of course. Apparently, there was some bad blood between the victim and the defendant. Bad blood? What do you mean? Oopsie, I'm terribly sorry. You're the def defense attorney, so you must know all about it. 
I shouldn't be stealing your spotlight like this. I really don't like this guy's smug attitude. That's wi Winston Payne for you. He is one smooth operator, if you catch my drift. No. They don't call him the rookie killer for nothing, you know. Oh yeah, the, he's the rookie killer. He's like tutorial dungeon. Okay, I see. Now then, let's hear from the defense. What was the source of the bad blood between the victim and the defendant? And this time, I would like to see some reporting evidence. <laughs> evidence? No, no need to get all worked up like over this. As I said, all your weapons can be found in the call record. Find the evidence you need and then shove it into old Greybeard's face. Yes, sir. Into old Greybeard's, old Greybeard's face. Er, uh, Mr. Grossberg? Try to set a better example for the young lady. Yeah, evidence isn't the only thing in the court uh, record. People's profile are as well. Why do I get the tutorial for people's profiles now? Because in the second game you could do that and there was like... It was not mentioned, right? You can toggle between profiles and evidence with tab. Now then, let's see what you've got. What was the cause of the bad blood between Phoenix Wright and the victim? Uh, you know, uh... Oh my god! Dahlia ha 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 thorn Phoenix Wright girlfriend dated the victim Dark Swallows up until 8 months ago. Oh, he, she dated the victim Dark Swallows? Oh, I see. She is... The reason of the bad blood between the two of them was this woman here. Dahlia Hawthorn. Is, is it? Very good, Miss Faye. You seem to have picked up on at least this much. This woman is the girlfriend of the defendant, Phoenix Bright. But up until about eight months ago, she was with the victim, Mr. Swallow. Stop to say this, please. Clearly, she has some part to play in this story. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed. Ah. He's done it again. Before the cross-examination -exam starts, he's already got the judge thinking like he wants. Okay. I have to... I have to fix this. Okay. Very well, Mr. Payne. Please call your first w witness. If it pleases the court, the prosecution would like to call Mr. Phoenix Wright. What? The, def the, the defendant himself? Well, Mrs. Fay, it's fine. After all, Mr. Wright is innocent, right? The defense has no objection. Very well. Oh. The court calls Mr. Phoenix Wright to the witness stand. Oh, baby boy is now in, in the stand? Witness, please state your name and occupation. Oh, yes, my name is Phoenix Wright. My job is, uh, well, right now I guess I'm a suspect. Oh, oh no, no, no. He means what did you do before you were arrested? Oh, phew. I was a university student, Mr. Wright. You understand that you are sus suspected, but I didn't do it. I'm innocent, I tell you. I'm telling you I was... Put the defendant... Please refrain from passing on his cold to the rest of us. It seems the witness has something he wants to say. Hmm, well then, Mr. Wright. Please tell us about your relation to the victim. Right away, Your Honor. Okay. The victim and I. Uh, I, I admit I was there. But I'm not a killer. All I did was... Find his body. I hardly knew the guy to begin with. He should be in bed and not in the courtroom. What do you want with him in bed right now? That wasn't the mask. Yeah, the mask is for spreading the disease. You heard it. You heard it in this courtroom first. The mask is here to, you know, spread the disease. I never even talked to that stuck-up British wannabe. I mean, if he is in bed, he don't have to wear this ugly sweater, huh? You're right. You're right. Hmm, I see. So you hardly knew the victim. Right, like I said, I'm not a killer. Oof, it looks like the judge understands. Uh, 
If being naive, you know, too naive. Huh? <laughs> He's doing this finger shit again. Why is he doing this finger shit again? Why is he like, you know? It seems that you've forgotten a small thing, young lady. And that would be, this witness still has to undergo something called cross-examination. Cross-examination, he's right. And this, and it's the defense's duty to carry out the cross-examination. The purpose is to determine if the witness's testimony contains any contradictions. Contradictions. If a witness is lying, their statements will conflict with the court record. But Mr. Wright is my client. Even if he is your client in court, all lies must be struck down. As a lawyer, that is your duty, you see. What does he mean by that? Is he saying the testimony just now that there was a lie, a contradiction? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. Like, like he's like doing this finger shit to like, I don't know, flip his like hair. Ah, this is so annoying. Now then, your cross-examination. Examination, if you please, Miss Faye. Please, Mr. Wright, tell me you haven't been lying. You wouldn't do that to me, would you? To me? Let's press all of this. When you say there, you, ma you mean the place where the victim was murdered? Yes, sort of. The place where something happened anyway. Something happened. Something. <laughs> right, are you lion? Yes. Something. <laughs> no! <laughs> He's a phoenix. He's not a lion as well. You can't hide what happened. We have photographic evidence. Anyway, Mr. Wright, what are you doing at the scene? What were you doing at the scene of the crime? I thought you said you don't didn't know the victim, Mr. Swallows. It was just a coincidence. We bumped into each other by accident. A coincidence, huh? But I'm not a killer. All I did was find his body. You say you found the body, so who called the police? Huh? Unfortunately, it was some other students that notified, n notified the police. Other students? That's correct. They were witnesses, sisters. Witnesses who saw the defendant standing there next to the body in shock. I mean... What? Is this true, Mr. Wright? You stop sneezing every time you're in a bind. Well, it's true that I was pretty shocked when I found the body, but but I I hardly knew the guy to begin with. So you didn't know his face or even his name, right? Right. Uh. Well, no. That, that is. I mean. So which is it? Did you know him or not? Oh God! I have to sneeze too. I'm sorry. But his like in-game sneezing makes me makes my nose tickly. Now see here. You can't avoid answering the question by sneezing all day. Or uh, uh, well. I guess I didn't know his name. News to me, why didn't he tell me that before? I heard he used to date Dolly. Who's this Dolly person? Ah yes, that would be the defendant's lover, Mr. Leah Hawthorne. Oh, I see. Ah, young love, so bittersweet. But that's all I, I, knew, I knew about him. Hmm. I never even talked to that stuck-up British wannabe, uh... Mr. Wright, you stated the following in your testimony. I hardly knew the guy to begin with. Right. I mean, why would I even... But that's... But that, that doesn't sound right. If you hardly knew him, then why would you say that the victim was a stuck-up British wannabe? Oh my god, she makes poses too? Like, wow. 
I know where I have this poses from then, huh? <laughs> well, Mr. Wright? No, it wasn't me. I'm not a killer, I swear. Mr. Wright, I will give you an opportunity to revise your testimony. How is it, how is it that you knew the victim was, as you put it, a British wannabe? Yeah, well... He was always walking around with a huge Union Jack on the back of his shirt. Did you see it, uh, did you see it at the crime scene, the Union Jack, I mean? Yes, that's right. I saw it at the crime scene. That's why. That's why I figured he must love British stuff. It's true. It was my heart. I swear I didn't do it. He's acting fishier than the salmon I ate last night. Why? No. I don't know. I don't need. I don't want to know. You know. I don't want. To, we don't need. To, we don't need to know the what you eat. May I ask you something, Miss Fay? Yes, Your Honor. What is it now? Who is this person anyway? This Union Jack fellow. The Union Jack is the name of the United Kingdom's flag. Oh, I see. So you mean like the stars and stripes, right? As usual, Your Honor, your insight astounds me. Hey, something just occurred, occurred to me. Isn't there something strange about this bit just, find, uh, bit just now? Mia, yeah, there is a contradiction here. Mr. Grossberg, quickly now, show us, show that, the, show that, that boy you mean business, with evidence, I mean, okay? Yeah, 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 you shush. I can handle it myself. One year ago, I was in a courtroom just like this. I can't do it, I can't handle this myself. <laughs> you must try to bite off more than you can chew, Mia. I'll be fine. I know what I, what I have to do. Remember, you can always press him to get more information. Oh, and one more thing. When you're going to state a contradiction, make sure you present some definitive, d definitive proof. Okay, Mia, one more time from the very beginning of his testimony. Are you certain you saw the Union Jack? Yeah, I'm sure it was right there on his back. Miss Faye, is there some point uh, to this line of questioning? Your Honor, please take another look at the crime scene photo. Yeah, here was a jacket. As you can see, there's absolutely nothing on the vic victim's back. Hey, wait a minute. He's wearing a leather jacket. The Union Jack was on the back of the t-shirt he was wearing. I was under the impression that you accidentally came across the body, but if that was really the case, then you wouldn't know that, would you? You'd, you'd have no idea at all what he was wearing underneath that jacket. Why? Uh, I don't, I mean, I maybe, maybe not, uh, you know, like, maybe I have x-ray vision and I can, you know, like, I don't know. Mr. Wright. You're being lying to me! Oh. Please forgive me! Why? I'm like... Mia, yeah, you made Okaya Klein cry. Good. Let him. That P on his chest doesn't stand for Phoenix anyways. It stands for PP. As you know. I can't believe I trusted him. Mr. Wright was all wrong. <laughs> That was an impressive bit of cross-examination. Thank you for uncovering the defense's, defendant's lies for me. It's quite clear that this man did not simply stumble upon the scene of the crime. Uh-oh, did I go too far? By the way, Mr. Wright, you seem to have a rather bad cold. Have you taken any medicine for it? I, uh, uh, I took some, but... Was the medicine that you took... An over-the-counter brand called Cold Killer Eggs. Yeah, that's right. It kills colds good. Hey, wait a second. 
How did you know I'm going? I'm I'm a big fan of cold killer eggs. <laughs> Would you happen to have that medicine with you right now? Well, actually, I seem to have lost it somewhere. Uh oh, you lost it. Does this even have anything to do with the case, Mr. Wright? Shall I tell you where your cold medicine is right now? Huh? Your Honor, I'd I'd like you to take a look at another photo from the crime scene. What's this? In the victim's hand, it's... A cold killer axe! Five past nine, huh? Okay. Huh. How odd. Oh, no, 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 yeah, it's five past three, okay. Yes, but even I've got a bottle of cold Clorax in my apartment. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that argument won't work. There is no doubt as to who this bottle of cold Clorax belongs to. Especially since Mr. Wright's fingerprints are all over it. Honey, ah, melons, I love her expressions. Sensing this murderous intent, Mr. Swallows must have picked up this bottle of medicine, dropped by Mr. Phoenix, um, dropped by Mr. Wright, and hid it in his hand. His purpose in doing so can only have been to identify his killer as Phoenix Wright. Oh, yeah, this is yes. Yes. Of course. Order in the courtroom. Your Honor, I'd like to present this photo and bottle as evidence. Very well, the court will accept them into the record. Okay. Also, the victim's wristwatch was broken. Broken? Yes, it keys. Key. Keyed? It eased. It eased functioning when a large wave of electricity passed through it. Well, Mr. Wright, do you have some kind of explanation for all of it? Of this? Uh, this is really bad. Oh my! Oh my buttocks! A poor, poor hemorrhoids. Okay. Why are you? Why are you telling me about your hemorrhoids all the time? This makes me very uncomfortable. What really happened? The truth is. I went because he called me. He was in the pharm uh, pharmacology debt. So we agreed to meet at 2.45 behind that building. We talked for a bit, and then, at, and then at around 3, we split up. And then later, when I went back, I found him lying there. I've been taking cold killer X for the last two or three days, but I lost my bottle for it around lunchtime on the day of the accident. You fall asleep. Yeah, we'll come back in the world of the driv living dream. <laughs> what? Mr. Wright, that's completely different from this uh, testimony you gave previously. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I was afraid you wouldn't believe the truth. But forgive me if I say I hardly find your uh, current testimony any more credible. Hmm, Miss Fay, please begin your cross-examination. Please, Mr. Wright, don't, don't, don't tell more, any more lies. What really happened? Had you ever met the victim before then? No, no, ever, but that day he called me up and told me he wanted to talk about Dolly. And this Dolly person is, I, uh, it's kind of embarrassing, she's my, uh, you know, she's my, my, you know, sweetheart. It's this is a this is a, a Japanese sign like this, like right. Oh, what? What's that for, Mia? Oh, I'm so sorry. I just felt like slapping something all of a sudden. Oh, she's like into Phoenix, huh? Dahlia Hartthorn was also the lover of the murder victim, Jack Swallow. Before she met Mr. Wright, that is. Hmm. So it was one of those nasty love triangles, I see. 
I don't know. He, <laughs> he was in the farm of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was it Mr. Swallows who in, uh, indicated you should meet at 2.45? Yeah, and we were both there right on time. Hmm. You said the victim was in the pharmacology depth, correct? Yeah, he was studying how to manufacture and improve pharmaceuticals. Everyone called him the alchemist of IVU. IVU. An alchemist, I see. I gotta admit, it was a little suspicious. He had a whole laboratory and everything. It was filled with chemicals and strange mis machines that run on high voltage electricity. Oh, how fascinating. He sounds like he was quite an ambitious young man. What do I do? Maybe I should ask him for... Mm, some more details. What timing of the meeting? So you were absolutely certain that you met, met at 2.45? Yeah, pretty sure. That's the time class ends. But they're always doing experiments, so it doesn't matter much. Experiments? Yeah, those pharma, uh, pharmacology guys are always in the lab whipping up something. Well, it looks like he's right about uh, the time anyway. Witness, let's go on with your testimony. No, let's not. No, let's not. Let's let's go back and get more information out of him. I was wondering if you could tell us a bit more about the pharmacology department. Well, okay, sure. I don't know all that much, though. A little bit earlier in your testimony, you said something interesting. You said the department uses strange mas machines, machines that run high voltage electricity. That's right, and they sure look dangerous. They use non-standard voltages, so there are high voltage cables everywhere. High voltage cables. Yeah, there were electric. There were. Sorry. Yeah. There were electrical poles set up all around the building. The high voltage ca the high voltage cables run overhead around the roof. Finally, I think we're getting somewhere. Okay, we have this information now, I guess. So what was it we were talking about? You know, that maybe we should hang out again sometime. Hang out again sometime. I wish that were the truth. So you say you went back. Uh, yeah, that's when I found the body. Yes, but why did uh, did you go back in the first place? Weren't you angry with him? Well, that's right, I was. And why, Mr. Mr. Wright? Why did you go back there? Oh, uh, I thought maybe we could make up. Judging by the atmosphere, I'm pretty sure no one is buying this. It's rather unusual to catch a cold this time of the year, isn't it? Yeah, I always get a little careless when the weather starts to warm up. I guess I shouldn't sleep with the window open this early in spring, huh? I suppose common sense is not always common, so... Did anyone else know that you were taking cold medicine? Well, I always took one after meals, so I'm pretty sure all my friends knew about it. Yeah. But I lost my bottle. On the day of the uh, incident, what did you do for lunch, huh? What does that have to do with anything? You can never be too sure. I always eat with Dolly, just the two of us. All his homemade lunches are just the greatest. Hmm, her mini omelets are magically delicious. <laughs> Ouch! Why did you punch me in the in the in the jaw? Oh, I I'm so sorry. I just feel like uh, hurting someone all of a sudden. Oh yeah. So this is 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 this canon now that Mia was like fallen for Phoenix, right? And Mia is super dead. We know this. This is super Omega sad then. Oh no. Don't make sad stories sad. I think that's enough for now. So the defendant and the victim met at approximate, approximately the time of his death. And then the defendant returned to the scene from some for some unknown reason. 
I'm not entirely convinced by this explanation about the medicine bottle uh, either. Let me be frank here, Mr. Wright. Your testimony cannot be trusted. What do you mean? I knew it was too much work for a little girl. Huh? However, there is one mystery that still remains. There is, Your Honor. Omelets. Hmm. How the murder was carried out, of course. Just... Who was the victim electrocuted? I don't believe the murder weapon has been produced yet. Correct? Well, that is, I, I, you are correct. So how exactly was Mr. Swallows killed? If I could somehow establish how it was done, maybe I could still uh, come out of this mess smelling like a smelling like a rose like my butt cheeks but uh establish murder murder method let's go slap table in confidence jiggle the wiggles as one used to say your honor but it was forbidden in trial to you know it's what's forbidden to, to in court to like call desk slapping jiggle the wiggles so then we you know we 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 we, we stop doing that yes miss fay i believe that if we uh, were to piece together everything we've heard up to until now we should be able to solve the mystery of how mr swallows died it would be most impressive Quite a, bra uh, quite a brash statement coming from a rookie. But even a beginner like you must understand the basic rule of the court, yes. An attorney must be able to substan sub stan substantiate the arguments with evidence. Ah, of course I know that. Actually, I totally forgotten about that. Hmm. I mean, now then, Miss Faye, let me see what you've got. Show me how... You believe the victim was electrocuted. I mean, you know, like, the obvious thing maybe? Take that! Take that! As for the cause of death, I'd say this picture captured it quite well. What? But there is nothing that even remotely resembles a murder weapon here. Hmm, I'm afraid the defense is going to have to explain this in a bit more detail. Miss Fay, where exactly in this photo is the murder weapon? I guess it's the Kabule? Well, naturally, it's right here. That's... Well, what is that? A, sev a, sev a severed? Yeah, electrical cable, I believe, Your Honor. Remember the testimony we heard? The machines uh, the pharmacology students use in the experiments require high voltage. And because of that, there are special high voltage cables strung up everywhere. So then the high voltage cable... Yes, the high voltage cable is the cause of death. That is the most likely explanation. Hmm... That certainly p uh, sounds plausible. Well, Mr. Payne? What do you have to say about this? Well, I believe some praise is in order. Don't toy with me, old man. Now, now, the victim's cause of death may indeed have been the high voltage cable. However, I want you to think about what the what that really implies. The only one who had the opportunity to use the cable as a murder weapon was... The defendant. Maybe, uh, you know, uh, an excellent. High voltage is what hurts, but high amp. High amperage is what kills. Yeah, but I guess if you, like, if you, like, get electrocuted from a freaking, like, high voltage cable, I guess there is, like, high amp too, right? But not. I don't know, the defendant. Mm. Bless, bless Mr. Wright. Hmm, that much is certainly true. Yes, and that's not all. We have, we have proof. Irrefutable proof that will establish that Mr. Wright was the murder. You do? Well, what is it? His fingerprints, fingerprints. You mean, 
that the defendant's fingerprints were on something besides the medicine bottle. Let's take another look at the crime scene photo. Suck. Suck. <laughs> hey, when the last to see you around. Hope you're doing well. Hope this was not like... Was this for, you know, was this for this room or was this like in your sexy Christmas behavior? I don't know. As you can see, the victim is wearing a leather jacket. And as you may know, leather holds fingerprints quite well. Ah, you mean... Yes, it was, it was quite clearly imprinted on the chest area of the victim's jacket. A palm print of the defend, defendant's very own hand. Nani? I can only think of one way Mr. Wright could have left a print like that. Intent on murder, he squarely pushed the victim towards the severed electric cable. Yeah, it's sure, dude. Sure, dude. Order. That's enough. I think we can con conclude that there is no reason to continue with this cross-examination. You can manipulate me into using it? Yeah, you know, I, I, I used it because I was too lazy to say it myself. So, actually, you think you could manipulate me, but I manipulated you in thinking that you manip manipulated me. You see what I did there? <laughs> see? Huh? Big brain. Yes. See? Stick a fork in us. We're done. Stick a fork in us? Okay. Mr. Grossberg, my hair... Uh, Hermoids never, li never lie. The show is over, Mia. Okay, good. I knew the boy was guilty the first time I saw him. No, you're wrong. He is right. Yeah, see? Infinite IQ. Yeah. No further evidence is requi uh, required to con convince me of this man's guilt. See, there it is. You don't need big sword if you know, if you know technique. This is true. At this time, I am prepared to r to render a verdict in this case. Is you playing Dark Souls 3 right now? Yeah, I don't know if I return to Dark Souls 3. But, uh, you know, the future is, like, full of games. Because you, you, all of you, you know, you, 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 you made all these incentives happen and all this. So, yeah. Do you have something further to add, Miss Faye? Is this what you want, Mr. Wright? You still haven't told us the truth, the whole truth. If you don't say something now, the judge is going to hand down his verdict. But I, I can't. I just can't say it. If I told you what really happened, then I'd be... It's okay, Mr. Wright. I'm your attorney. You can trust me. Miss Faye. Oh, no, we leave. He's doing the lip thing. No matter what it is you have to say, I believe in you and I will represent you to the very end. But what was I? Why are you object objecting to this, like, emotional moment? I object to your feelings. Okay, good, Mr. Payne. We already established the de de defendant's guilt. There is no further need for him to say anything. Melons? Yeah, Melons is back. Wait a minute, Mr. Wright. I, I'm telling you what really happened. But it's... But I've already told you, Mr. Wright, there's no need for further... Pain is still old, yeah. I... Um, no, he's, he's younger, he has like hair now. Like real hair. I, I did it. I admit it. I, I pushed him. It's my fault. My fault that Duck Swallows is dead. Don't laugh about this name. If you if you if you laugh about Duck Swallows name, you my girlfriend just laughed about the name Duck Swallows. 
I'm telling you for your for your sake. Oh, yeah, we. Who tired of time travel again? Yeah. Oh my god, look at this, like, super, like, POWM! Wow, one-handed. Okay, I'm... You know, if he, if he would do that, it's okay, right? Because he can do whatever he want. Yeah, do whatever makes you happy, see? What, what just, what you just said, wasn't it the truth? Yes, I I was afraid, afraid that if I told the truth, everyone would think I was the murderer for sure. Well, as things currently stand, we're all absolutely convinced you are. Please, please give me one more chance to explain. This time I swear, I swear I tell the whole truth. Phoenix is a strong boy, yeah. It will be okay, won't it, Miss Faye? I, I believe in you. Now, oh, uh, thank you. I still can't believe it. He really did push the victim. You know, it's like, young man fight. I feel like my hemorrhoids are doing the the Harlem shake. I did not know, Mr. Grossberg. I don't know about Harlem shakes and hemorrhoids. This is too much information. Too much. I have chocolate now. Chocolate to er erase this sentence out of my memory. What? Yeah, we should talk. We should stop, yeah. That guy. Hmm. Sorry. He was talking bad about Dolly. I lost my temper and gave him a shove. At that moment, I heard some kind of loud noise. A little while after I left, I started to get worried. So I went back. But he was just lying there dead. Hmm. <laughs> Good. So yeah, he... Uh, yeah. Well, the explanation is r really quite simple. When you pushed him, Mr. Swallows flew back and touched the electric cable. He died from the shock. And that, as they say, is that. Hmm. A simple explanation indeed. At the time of the incident, a light rain had been falling. Wet from the rain, the victim... Wet from the rain, the victim was more easily electrocuted. But, but when I pushed him, there weren't any electric cables nearby. If there had been something like that, even I would have noticed it. That's true. Even a doofus like him could have missed that. Hmm, Miss Faye. Let me warn you right now. That if your cross-examination doesn't yield any new facts, I intend to deliver my verdict without further further delay. Are we clear on that? Yeah, Your Honor. Don't give don't give up, Mia. If he is innocent, there must be some kind of evidence somewhere that will prove it. When I pushed the victim, the victim, the victim, that's you know, let's hold it. So what kinds of things did Mr. Swallows say to you? Gross details, good one. <laughs> Mr. Grossberg, blah. He said all sorts of terrible things about Dolly. He said that she was a bad girl. Oh yeah, you know, 